Hello there everyone, Joseph here and welcome back to some more IO2 Great Battles. We're back here with our new pilot, Kurt Hot Zimmerman. I'll let you go ahead and read through his profile here. Pause at your own convenience. But yes, we're back here. We are back at the Battle of Stalingrad. We are with JG51, the Mulders. Now I'll let you go ahead and read through this section as well and pause at your own in uh, pause at your convenience. So why are we in JG51? Some of you might be asking. Well, we're in JG51 because JG51 has access to the Fokker Wolf 190 A3. Yes, we're here flying the beautiful 190, an aircraft I haven't had much uh I actually haven't had much flight time with it, which is something I kind of wish I had more time with. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out what our mission is for today. We are attacking an enemy artillery position. Ooh, fun. Ground attack in a fighter. Uh, especially one like the 190. Ugh. Yes, um, we are number two in the flight. That's interesting. So <laughs> we have an enemy ground attack to go on. Let's see here, where is it at? So this is our airfield here at Pit Pitominsk. Pitominsk? I don't know. I think so. <laughs> um, our mission is all the way north here. That's fine. Why are we not hitting stuff here? But whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Let's check out the world news. Uh, Germans ready to take Stalingrad. G uh, Germans in circle Stalingrad. Pots duel as battle for city looms. Uh, Gestapo reports capture of the, the Red Orchestra and allies win at Alm El Haif. I think that's how you say it. Somewhere in North Africa. So the North African campaign is going on. All the good stuff's going on. You... Oh, not that one. That one. So, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, jump to the briefing screen and set this aircraft up. All right. So here we are on the briefing screen. As you can see here, we'll be taking off flying north. For a very long time <laughs> um, and so we reach our target here and then we will be uh, destroying our artillery until we get the mission objective thing and then we'll fly back home hopefully we won't run into any fighters especially since we're flying a 190 with a bomb slapped onto us <laughs> uh, two second delay on that so we're setting up the aircraft here they have us set at 76 uh, gallons of fuel we'll take that sure uh, paint scheme let's go ahead and pick we're gonna take this one. I like this skin. I like uh, Burma skin, so we'll take that one, and we'll roll with it. I don't think it's winter yet. I don't think there's snow on the ground, so really we kind of probably shouldn't be taking uh, a skin that's more or less set for uh, winter. But eh, whatever. We're a rebel. We'll do what we want. So let's go ahead and uh, get jumping into the game. Alrighty then. Here we are, set up and ready to roll. Once one takes off, we'll be following him, uh, following him, him up. There, I got tongue tied. I'm getting tongue tied. So yeah, me and the 190. Um, I haven't flown it much, which is a, a kind of a shame. I wish I had flown it more. Um, I do like the aircraft very much. Uh, I just, I just never really flew it all that much. In multiplayer, I'd either fly the, uh, well, I'd mainly fly the BF-110 because I like to do ground attack missions with it, and usually no one else did ground attack missions, so um, it was that, or I'd fly the one 109 because there's always a limited number of 190s, and I was afraid of losing, losing one um, from something stupid, and, you know having our team be out of 190 when somebody else who's uh, a bit more skilled at the aircraft could uh, take it over and actually do things with it. So this should be interesting. This should be fun to kind of learn the aircraft a little bit. Well, I mean, I know how to fly the aircraft, but it's going to be interesting to actually get some time with it. It's just something I've been wanting to do a lot. Because, I, again, I do like the aircraft. Um, I've, <laughs> I guess you could call me a heavy fighter guy because my... Uh, Favorite aircraft of World War II is the P-51 Mustang, which would be essentially the 190's equivalent <laughs> um, for the U.S. side. Of course, I know the 190 is a lot better aircraft, 
Um, well, actually, I should take that back. Take that back. Um, the 190 might have it out a little bit on some performance, but they are very similar in the way that you have to fly them and play them. So this should be fun. That's why I can't wait for Bonnet Plate to come out with the uh, jug, because I'm probably going to spend the majority of my time flying that. But anyways, enough yakking here. We're going to go ahead and continue on this long-ass flight that we have to take. And uh, yeah, I will join you all when we reach the target area, or if we get uh, jumped on by enemy fighters. <laughs> That should be fun. Uh, so until then, stay tuned. Welcome back, folks. As I was fearing here, we came around. A bunch of fighters popped out. <laughs> uh, I've dumped my bomb. Me and Flightly dump our bombs. We're now in a dogfight. So we are not completing that mission objective. The thing I feared would happen happened. And that was running across the enemy fighters while trying to go on a bombing mission. And we're all low altitude, which is never a good thing with a 190. Alright, I lost sight of these guys. They broke into the clouds and then I lost sight. Oh, wait. Here we go. Can't tell what this back one is. I know there's two guys up front, and then there's this back one. It's definitely not a 190. Those front ones actually look like 190s. There's the fighting going on up there. I don't want to open fire until I know if this guy's an enemy or not. That's got a 190 profile. But they could be LA-5s as well. It was never a good thing. Problem here, we're 190s, we're low, we're in the realm of Russian aircraft. That's a Russian aircraft. Speaking of Russian aircraft... Ah, crap. I looked behind me to check my six, and then I lost him in that turn. Oh, there he is. Oh, this is not good. Alright, screw it. Home south. Whoops, so we're busting south. Extending, I'm leaking fuel. Actually, they're not chasing yet, that is. <laughs> um, so, we are over the Russian line, by the way. get back over our lines. Here they come again!
Don't want to roast the engine doing that. There's at least one, possibly two, following me. I am extending. Did I make it back over my lines? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Yeah, that's two following me. Alright, we're back over our line, so now it's time to turn south. And southwestish, eastish. Head back to our base. Yeah, I know. I said I was RTB in. But, I got this guy by himself, so I want to attempt to try and get this dude. Sure, we don't go flying into the ground here. Okay, his friend came back. Bailing out. Oh, man. That's what I was worried about. What's that? That's not mine. Oh, that's the canopy. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, that sucked. What do you expect flying a 190 at a thousand feet when there's Russian aircraft at a thousand feet? Command! Ugh. Anywho's. Um, I don't know if it's gonna... I guess we might wait until we land and then we'll, uh... End it here and join you all at the briefing screen. Just wanna make sure I don't fall over dead. Okay, I sat up. And I believe... Uh, we did go down on our side of the line. So, I'll see you all at the briefing screen. Alrighty then. Wish it's a fail. Of course it is. We got shot down. Oh, because Command, because they thought it was a grand idea to fly 190s low to the ground. Yeah, so that's where I was knocked down. So we were, we we're on behind our lines. That's good. But yeah, as you can see there, we got ambushed uh, right about here. And this is where the fighting took off. Uh, one yak got shot down, but two of our 190s got 190s got shot down. <sighs> so let's go ahead and finish and see what's up. Alrighty then, we were wounded in action, and I should have gotten the pilot's badge. I think, uh, oh maybe there isn't a um, what should we call it? But yeah, that was a total failure. Uh, two of us were wounded, one was destroyed, and one was captured. So yeah, that was a terrible mission. This is why you don't ground attack with 190s. <laughs> Uh, and it looks like the other two units are going to be ground attacking with 190s again. So we're going to be down eight aircraft. But anyways, thank you all for watching, as always. If you want to help support the channel, don't forget... Uh, if you want to help support the channel, Patreon links down in the description, as well as the link should be popping up on the screen at any moment. Um, I want to thank uh, both Sade, Berg, and Nick, who are my uh, two patrons right now. They helped me come up with the name for our pilot. Um, they gave me two different names, and then I combined the two into this pilot tier. So thank you all for that. 
And if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the likes button. If you're new here and want to see more of this content, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon to get notifications when a new video comes out, and we'll catch you all next time.